Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I was not planning on filming a video today, but I got my hair done and I don't have any plans for the rest of the day. So I felt like people were obligated to see my hair because I don't know if you guys feel that way, but like when you get it done and it's all nice and then you have no plans and no one's gonna see it and you're gonna have to shower and then it's gonna be gone. And so people need to see it. It needs to be memorialized in a YouTube video. So that's what we're doing today. So today is going to be a little bit of a chatty video. Um, so, you know, get some snacks, get some water. I don't know. Um, because I'm going to be talking a lot because I feel like talking a lot. Today I am going to be talking about how to stay motivated to go to the gym or to work out in general. Um, Believe it or not, even though I post a lot of workout things online, um, I am not always consistent in the gym. Sometimes I really suck at going. Sometimes I really don't want to go. I'm like a normal person outside of YouTube, believe it or not. <laughs> so first up, I think that most of these videos, these types of videos have this kind of thing where it's to set a goal. And usually a lot of people say, oh, you can't set a physical goal. It has to be some sort of like bigger end goal. And I agree with that. I think that like it's great if you want to be working on, you know, your health or something like that. I think that's great. But I find that that's kind of a difficult motivator sometimes because life can be so long. And so if you miss a day at the gym, you're not going to think that it's that big of a deal. And maybe it's not. But also I feel like that sort of mindset of, oh, well, I'll still be healthy if I go sometimes like that kind of kicks in and so I feel like that type setting that sort of goal doesn't really help very much so I think that it's totally okay to set a physical goal if you want to so for instance I used to go to the gym kind of infrequently and then one time I went on a vacation with my friends and uh, Jack took a bunch of photos of me and I was like, oh, these are gonna look so cute. And I looked at the photos and I was like, oh my god, I literally have no muscle at all. <laughs> and like the next day, I literally went to the gym because I was like, oh no, this is bad. Like I need to, like I wanted to look more muscular than that. And so I think that having a physical goal really does motivate you at times because honestly like when I'm doing like squats or hip thrusts and I feel like I'm gonna die like I feel like that's the best motivator I'm like think of myself on the beach on my next vacation or over the summer or whatever like do I want to look good yes and that pushes me to keep going through my set for my second motivator I would say to fuel your body and this is not just like eating clean or eating healthy or whatever it's literally like eating enough and also drinking enough water um throughout the day each day is so so important you're going to feel so much better think about it you're at the end of the day like you have to go to the gym but you haven't been drinking water all day so you have a headache like you want to stay home you don't want to go to the gym right so i feel like it's so important to make sure that you're drinking water and that you're staying hydrated throughout the day and also make sure that you're having enough protein, enough carbs because your so your glucose levels at the beginning of the day are pretty high but they start to drop off as the day goes on. So if any of you are familiar with that sort of like 2 p.m., 3 p.m. crash, it's because your glucose le levels, your glucose stores are going way, way down. And so that makes you not wanna go work out. So you really need to make sure that you're fueling yourself throughout the day. I would say having like small snacks, small meals throughout the day is really important um, because it's going to keep you feeling okay so that if you do happen to, you know, work out later in the day, you're gonna actually want to go, you're gonna feel motivated to go you're gonna feel like you have energy to go and also your lifts are gonna be better or whatever your workout is it's gonna be better another tip that I have regarding um, what you're consuming is it has to do with pre-workout or energy drinks primarily energy drinks honestly I would say that if you're working out later in the day it is really good to not just wait until you get to the gym to 
be taking or drinking energy drinks, it's kind of good to do it a little bit before so that you already have that kind of energy before you get to the gym. Like let's say you have been fueling your body properly, but you're still somehow tired. It would be really good to like have some energy like an hour before or something like that so that you're not dragging yourself to the gym so that you can start off your workouts really, really strong. And that kind of motivates you to continue your workout and be really really strong throughout your workout that's just like a little thing that i noticed recently because i had to go to the gym at like 8 p.m one day or 9 p.m one day and i just did not want to do it and then i was like oh i don't want to have my energy drink too late and so i had it at like 5 p.m or something like that 6 p.m and even though I had it like a couple hours before I went to work out, I still had that energy. And then also I wasn't up all night because I had it a little bit earlier. So that's just like a little, a little tip for you guys. It helps a lot. Okay, this next one is a really good one. And this is something that I try to ask myself. And this is something I struggled with for a long time. Ask yourself the question, am I actually not feeling good? Or am I just being lazy? This is something that I struggled with because sometimes I like, I wouldn't have a lot of energy. I wouldn't feel great, you know? And then I would go to the gym and I would have an amazing workout. And this has happened so many times. Some of my best workouts have been when I didn't want to go. Obviously, that wasn't actually me not feeling well. That was just me kind of being lazy, you know? So it's really important to ask yourself this question. If you're really not feeling well, if you're injured or if you're sick or something like that, then that's like a good reason to not go to the gym, right? But you really need to check in with yourself and really ask yourself that question. Like, hey, am I not going today because, oh, I feel a little under the weather or is it just me kind of being lazy. You know? I like, I don't think that you should count yourself out. Worst case scenario, you show up, you work out for a little bit. And then if you don't feel well, then you just go home, <laughs> you know, like it's not that big of a deal, but like, at least you, at least you showed up for yourself that day. At least you tried. This next one is something that helped me so, so much. And it's to have someone keep you accountable. I'm lucky, I have Jack who introduced me to the gym and he constantly pushes me to go and he's made me work out on days when I have felt so lazy or I just didn't feel like going, you know, um, and he's pushed me through that and I kind of do the same thing with him. If he doesn't want to go, I'm like, nope, we're going. Obviously, I know that not everyone is lucky enough to have somebody that they go to the gym with every day. However, this could be literally anyone. It doesn't have to be another person who's working out. I feel like you could just like message your friend. It could be a long distance friend or whatever. Basically, you can just have somebody who's not even there in person text you and check on you and make sure that you're going and that will keep you accountable. So one thing I really like to do is think about how I'm going to feel after I work out because Usually I feel really good because you get all those endorphins, you know, from the actual workout. You know, you feel a little bit sore, so you're kind of proud of yourself. You just feel this sense of accomplishment, like you checked off a box for the day, you know? I don't know, I just think thinking about how you're gonna feel when you've, you've completed that workout is always something that has motivated me to, you know, get through it. And last but not least, this is my secret hack. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds kind of dumb, but I just consume so much fitness content on YouTube. I watch so many week of workouts videos, taking you through my workout videos, getting ready for the gym things. Basically, if I see somebody else working hard and going to the gym or doing whatever, I'm like, yeah, I want to do that too. I want to feel accomplished like they do, you know? And so like when I see somebody working hard and being consistent in the gym, it makes me want to do it and it gives me a lot of motivation. And I don't know if anybody else does that, but I love doing it. Um, you know, sometimes it's still not perfect. Like I still don't have a lot of energy, but most of the time I feel like it hypes me up a lot and then I'm really excited to go, which I think is, really, really helpful. So I would definitely recommend that if you haven't tried that yet. Okay, so we have made it to the end of the video. Um, this has been such a chatty video. I haven't had a lot of like chatty videos on my channel because I just feel like no one cares. Um, but I really need to stop with that mentality because somebody out there does care. So hopefully this has helped some of you 
achieve that motivation that you're kind of looking for. Let me know in the comments what motivates you because I might try that out. Um, and let me know if you guys try any of this out and how it works for you and see how you feel. And also please be sure to like and subscribe because it really helps grow my channel. And I am a very small channel, but but we're, we're growing, we're getting bigger. So it really, really helps when you guys like my videos. It really helps boost it to more people who are like you. All right, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.